Hey everyone, Will Nate 35. How's everybody doing? Well, it's almost Christmas time, and today I'm going to show you a early Christmas present that I got from my brother. It is from Horizon Hobby. It's the UMX P47 brushless. It has AS3X, as you can see there, and this is the bind and fly version. It's uh, it's got a nice brushless. Uh, motor that uses a 2S LiPo battery for it and uh, so that's going to be a lot, a lot better than the Corsair that I have that's uh, a one cell. This thing should be much better, much more powerful, faster obviously. So uh, with that said, let's go check out the stats in the back of the box. Alright, so here's the measurements. Uh, it's 17.1 uh, yeah, inch right there in length and width wise it's about 19 inches so that's the measurement there okay it says that it has a brushless BL 180 outrunner motor and it uses a 200 milliamp 2s 7.4 volt 30c lipo battery which is sold separately again like I said before it has AS3X and it's got Realistic World War II 334th Fighter Squadron trim scheme. Another good thing I like about it is the fact that it has a scale engine detail and the four bladed prop and removable main landing gear. So with that said, let's uh, let's check it out. All right, so here's the box. It's open. I went ahead and took the tape off so that way I can take that styrofoam off. And I'll do that right now. Okay, let's take some of this little plastic things off. Kind of hard with one hand, but let's get this thing done. All right, look at this baby. All right, let me. Uh, I'll pause the uh, camera real fast and we'll look at it. Uh, and with a bet in a better view all right so here she is outside the box first thing I notice is that it's definitely much bigger than my Corsair also the tires are bigger looks much nicer looks uh, a lot more scale really a beautiful plane get some really good close-ups of this here's the pilot Looks more like a ninja to me, but uh, whatever, you know. At least it has something in there, and it's not just just an open, uh, just an empty canopy. Get the guns. Let's look in the bottom. There you go. I haven't taken these uh, landing gears off, so but I heard they're not that hard to take off. Looks pretty easy. So there's that. It's a back tire. I believe that's a steerable back tire. So why don't we, uh, why don't I take the Corsair out and let's see uh, a comparison of the two side by side. All right, so let's compare them. Here's the uh, P47. And there's the Corsair. Much smaller, as you can tell. And like I said, that the P47 does use a two cell versus the Corsair, which uses a one cell. Now, this Corsair actually flies really good, uh, although with the one cell battery, it doesn't has the power is just not there. So you're uh, basically just cruising around, having a little, well, having a good time. But uh, you know, as far as doing anything crazy with it, it's. Uh, just doesn't have the power so it's a fun plane to fly just not enough power so this thing should have the power that I I'm looking for with the little UMX and uh, like I said I cannot wait to fly it all right so now that I've bound the plane to my transmitter using a DX7 um, my knee was very simple as usual you just plug in the uh, the battery and then you turn on the transmitter uh, holding the bind button down and uh, 
wait for it to bind and it's ready to rock. Uh, everything was set up pretty much uh, as far as I didn't have to reverse any kind of uh, servos or anything like that. It's, it goes the right way. Uh, elevator up, down, and ailerons right, left. Everything, everything's moving the correct way. And motor. She's ready to go. Um, I did very minor uh, adjustments to the rudder to get it nice and straight. And I think it's nice and straight now. Um, let's see if you can tell. It's pretty straight. I think if anything, I might have to do a little bit of trim, but I think it looks pretty good. And uh, the thing also I like about this is the uh, the wing is nice and it's the way it should be. It's uh, nice and wide and uh, looks like it can, it's pretty durable versus the uh, Corsair, which is basically paper thin, as you can see here. I mean, this is, it's like a really, 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 really thin foam here, so that's, uh, that's obviously uh, something that could easily break. But this, on the other hand, as you can see it's got some nice, uh, nice thickness to the to the styrofoam. So this should be a really nice. Not should be. It, it will be a very nice plane. So again, I can't wait to fly it. Um, this is the way I have the battery currently. I don't know if I need to put it forward or back. I haven't checked C it's a CG yet, but that's what I've got on it so far. Uh, I, I don't like the fact that it's just out there and it's uh, doesn't have any kind of uh, way to close it. It's kind of a little door, but uh, you know that's that's the way they made it. So I guess I'm gonna have to live with it. I've had instances where uh, batteries um, come off the Velcro and all of a sudden it's dangling off the plane, so or, or, or underneath the plane. So that's that's always. Uh, not a fun thing to see and I think I've done that a few times with the uh, Corsair so you know I just wish that they would uh, have a little compartment down there and uh, and put that so that way you can hide the battery as well as keep it from falling off all right here are the batteries that I will be using I got this one which is a 300 uh, now the problem with this is that it's thick and for the most part, when I use these batteries for my other UMX planes, I have the Velcro on the back here. Um, with this plane, you have to have it on the side. So, and the Velcro that's on the side is going to scrape up the uh, the uh, styrofoam on the side of this battery compartment because it's fairly narrow in there. So, uh, that's going to be kind of a pain in the butt because I'm going to have to take out some of those. Uh, some of those velcro and take it off the back and put it on the side um, so that's going to be a pain but anyhow this is the recommended the 200 milliamp I don't know if you can see that right there and then this one is a what is this thing called it's a connects connexus and that's a 280 and this one is a something I think I bought from eBay. Um, uh, what does this say? It's something giant. I think it's giant power. I don't know. Anyhow, that's a 300 milliamp. So I'm going to try that as well. Uh, but that's it. This baby's ready to go. I really like it. I think it's beautiful. Thanks, bro. Thanks. I'm really happy with this plane. And uh, hopefully I can get you guys a flight video at some point. But it is winter, and, uh, you know, I'm hoping for some decent weather so I'm not freezing my buns off out there and uh, using numb fingers to fly uh, fly this plane. But I, I, I want to fly it, so can't wait. All right, guys, Will Nate 35 signing off. If you have any questions, by the way, just write it down, and I'll try to answer you as quickly as I can. Okay? Thanks. Bye.